Hi, my name is Beth and I'm a sewing pattern designer and blogger at Sew DIY. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to make mitered corner cloth napkins. Mitered corners create a really beautiful finish at the corner and make a really special, luxurious napkin. These napkins are a great project for sustainability because you can use scraps of fabric from your stash and you'll be cutting down on disposable napkins when you reuse a cloth napkin. Plus, they're really great for giving gifts. For some of my napkins, I pieced multiple fabrics together to get the size I wanted. And to do that, I used French seams. I have a tutorial for French seams here on YouTube and I'll put a link in right here. For these napkins, I'm making a finished size of 16 by 16 inches, which is a pretty standard size napkin. You can do any size you want. You could do a small cocktail napkin, or a larger dinner napkin or a tea towel. To make this 16 inch napkin, I cut a square that's 19 inches by 19 inches. And I'm doing a hem allowance of one and a half inch on each side. Let's get started. So here I have my piece of fabric all sized for a 16 inch finish size with a one and a half inch hem allowance. And I'm going to be folding over one half inch first. And if you have a little tool like this, this is really handy for measuring out your one half inch. So I just want to fold one half inch all the way around and press it. Okay, so you just fold all the sides one half inch and then you want to do your second fold and my second fold is going to be one inch. So just fold that down. So after you get all your sides pressed, you want to just open up one of the folds. You want to leave that first fold intact and then get a ruler and some sort of fabric marker. And we're going to mark the measurements for our mitered corner. So just bring your ruler up here and you want to mark double your second fold. So my second fold is one inch and I'm going to mark two inches from the corner on each side. So those are my two inch dots. And then you wanna take your ruler and draw a line between the two dots. So then you fold your fabric right sides together, line up your dots and just hold it with a pin. And then we're gonna stitch right along that line. Okay, so here I have my fabric folded together and I'm just going to stitch right along this blue line that we marked. I'm going to use a straight stitch and to start off, I just wanna make sure that I have my threads from the needle and the bobbin just pulled off to the side. I'm going to hold them with my finger. And this is just going to prevent a little uh, knot of threads down underneath the fabric. I'm going to back stitch. So just trim your threads and take this over to the pressing station. So here's an example where I've stitched right along that line and then I'm going to take my scissors and trim away that corner of fabric. And if you have one of these tailor's clappers, it's really handy to put the corner over the top here and press this little tiny seam open. So you can finger press it first and then pop your ruler on and do a little press. You can see how nice that is. And then we're going to flip it. And if you have a little tool, I'm gonna to carefully use my scissors, but a knitting needle would work really well for this. Just poke that out. And then you're gonna go and press this flat. So you'll go all the way around, press it flat, 
You can put some pins in here to hold it. And then we'll take this back over to the machine and top stitch this down. You can see that this is a really nice, beautiful corner. Here I have my napkin all pressed and ready to top stitch. I've set my machine to a straight stitch with 3.0 length. If your machine has decorative stitches, this could also be a fun opportunity to use those. I'm just going to start somewhere in the middle and it's up to you whether you want to stitch from the right side of the fabric or from the wrong side. I think this time I'm going to stitch from the wrong side because I think I will be more accurate. On some machines the stitching looks better from the top side so that's why you might want to stitch with the right side up. And I've moved my needle over to the left a little bit and I'm just going to try to stitch as closely as I can to the folded edge. Okay, I'm right at the corner. I'm going to lift my presser foot, pivot my fabric, lower that presser foot, and keep on stitching. Okay, and then when you get back to where you started, just meet up with that other line of stitching and do a little back stitch. And then you can just trim your threads and you're all done. You have a nice little napkin with mitered corners that you can use and reuse. Well, I hope that you enjoyed this video and have enjoyed learning how to sew mitered corners. This is the first in a series of videos that I'm going to be doing leading up to the holiday season where I focus on sewing tutorials for sustainable handmade gifts. It's going to be really fun. And if you're interested in more tutorials and ideas for using your scrap fabric, I have a newsletter down below that's all about sustainability. And if you sign up for the newsletter, you'll be the first to know when I release my upcoming improvisational quilting e-course. It's going to be really fun. I'm very excited about it. Improvisational quilting with fabric scraps is my favorite way to use up fabric scraps. So I can't wait to release this course and share that with all of you. And if you haven't subscribed to the channel yet, I'd be so honored if you hit the little button to subscribe down below and then hit the bell to be notified every time I release a new video. Happy sewing.